Hi again. Brexit delayed. The majority section of the establishment well pleased with their endeavours. Meanwhile, the Commons has become a televised farce beyond parody. Theresa May, Jeremy Corbyn in bed together. What kind of political a razor-head baby will be conceived? There's been other strange couplings, too hideous to contemplate. It's beyond parody. Satire is dead. And when the chamber flooded, the televised action switched to the House of Lords, the medieval upper chamber, unelected, decaying zombie politicians, some of them pre facture living fossils, the celia camps of the ruling class, lords, baronesses, barons, bishops, hereditary peers, appointees, placemen. Now, if you think the Commons is out of chance, just how far removed is this collection of rotting corpses? As they filibustered and filiblustered, voices echoed as if emitted from the dankest of catacombs. This is our so-called democracy, worthless, well, by hundreds of years, past its sell-by date. Live from the House of Lords, what a paradox. No wonder a further the electorate bothered to cast its vote in Thursday's Newport West by-election. The system has, thanks to Brexit, been well and truly exposed for what it is, and yet the angry population, not to mention the anarchist malcontents of this world, have been incapable of delivering the challenge, either socially or politically. Instead, we're turning upon ourselves. Everything from knife crime to racism. Internally, it's drugs, alcohol addictions and mental health issues, among other things. So the ruling classes, while devouring themselves, ironically survive, financially prospering as never before. Only the upheaval of a revolution can even begin to tackle the multiple problems we're assailed with and getting worse. But as the country drifts further to the right, it appears a receding possibility, to say the least. But who knows anything anymore? Watch this space. It's as good as any other one. Bye.